Detectives are piecing together an attack that left an Albion woman with words cut into her chest. 54-year-old Nathaniel Simon is behind bars tonight. He's accused of strangling and cutting his girlfriend. Crime News' Marissa Bag spoke with the victim's friend. She joins us live with the latest. Marissa. The attack happened on Friday. Friends say that the victim was so terrified she waited days to tell police about the abuse. Bruised and battered, an Albion woman was kept locked inside this trailer home for three days. That's according to Whitman County Sheriff's deputies. Her friends struggle to wrap their minds around the attack. They were very, very happy at first and, and uh, laughing a lot. This woman, we'll call Jenny, is the victim's close friend. She asked to remain anonymous. She's the first person who learned about the beating. I saw the bruises. Yeah, she had a lot of bruises, and she complained about her neck. We had had her around the neck. And According to deputies, Nathaniel Simon choked his girlfriend, punched her in the chest, and dragged her around the house. He then smothered her, using his body to her down, and she passed out. The victim says she awoke with blood on her shirt, and the words, do not resuscitate, carved into her chest. Jenny was deeply disturbed. I didn't really want to look, truthfully. The victim hid her scars for three days. She says Simon told her if she told anyone, he would kill her and then himself. The, the look in his eyes scared her to the point where he, she felt that she could be in danger. When the victim finally reported the abuse, one deputy said, quote, I could easily make out the following that had been cut into her chest, not recess. She was treated and released from the hospital. Simon remains behind bars at this hour on a half million dollars bond. I'm just so sorry it all happened. You know, he, he seemed like such a nice guy. Detectives say Simon used a sharp object to cut his girlfriend. He's now charged with assault, making death threats, and unlawful imprisonment. Reporting live in the studio, Marissa Bagg, Creme 2 News.